how do you get your spouse, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, significant other, whoever's important in your life, how do you get them on the same page when it comes to your big goals? Let's talk about it. I'm Audrey Chisholm with Chisholm Law Firm. We help companies and individuals start and grow nonprofits that impact the world. So listen, this is a really common question that I get, and I ran into the same situation myself, right? I wanted to start growing my business. I wanted to do some different things, and just you want that buy-in. You want everyone around you uh, to really agree and be excited for you and all that. So I'm going to share a few tips that I think will help. The first tip is to understand that you will never please everyone, right? It doesn't matter how great you are, you know, how great your plan is, there's always going to be someone that doesn't like it and it doesn't make them a bad person. So my grandma for the longest was my best friend. Like she is just was just an incredible woman and I admired her so much. And I remember when I told her that I wanted to start my own law firm um, after passing the bar and she thought it was a bad idea. She told me that I should work for someone else first, that she didn't think it was a good idea, that I shouldn't do it, I should just get a job. And that's what she said. But listen, that didn't make her a bad person. She believed in me, she was a great woman. But I had to understand that not everyone is going to agree with you. Not everyone is going to like you or like your decisions. And that doesn't mean they're bad. That's okay. She didn't understand that I knew I was ready. I knew that I had researched. I knew that I had, you know, clerked at law firms and 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 worked at other law firms, you know, while I was in law school, etc. And that I knew I was prepared. I knew inside it was my moment. She didn't know that, and that's okay, right? So that's the first thing I would say is just to understand that even if your plan is amazing, there's still going to be someone that doesn't get it, and that's okay. Uh, The next thing I would say, though, is to try to be the supportive person that you are always wanting them to be, okay? So have you ever had that person that, um, you know, you're doing things for them, like if you're playing a game and, and you're, you know, giving them opportunities and, you know, trying to, like, let them win, I guess, in the board game or what have you. But then when it's their turn to do the same thing, they're like, oh no, I, you know, I'm going to beat you, et cetera. Like they're not being nearly as gracious, right? That happens a lot. Next point about getting your partner on the same page is you want to be the person that you want your partner to be. Okay. So my kids, they are really great. Uh, but sometimes they will come to me and they're like, oh, well, such and such, you know, she wasn't playing with me and she wasn't, you know, you know, playing dolls with me, et cetera. It's my two daughters talking, you know, about each other. And the first thing I'll ask is I'm like, well, were you playing dolls with her? Like, were you being friendly to her? Were you being kind to her? And then they'll look and be like, no, mama, I was not. And I'm like, there you go, right? So that's the thing. We want our spouse or our partner, our significant other to be excited about us and excited about what we're doing. But we have to look in the mirror and say, but have I been that for them? Am I that person they can share their ideas with, their deepest hopes, their dreams, even if it's not perfect, even if it's not all figured out and I'm encouraging them? Or am I that person that's a dream killer, right? Every time they have a new idea, they want to invest in a skill. They want to go back to school. They want to apply for a different job, ask for a raise, launch a business, launch a nonprofit. I'm the first one being like, oh, that won't work. You know, we know such and such, it failed, X, Y, Z, like just being negative. So we have to look in the mirror and make sure that we're being the person for other people that we want people to be for us, right? And again, that's not saying that you should, you know, you have to encourage everything that they're doing or that if it's something that's unwise or what have you, that you just need to sit and be a yes person and say yes all the time. But it does mean that you've got to give them some space and some liberty in their life to try new things, right? To make mistakes and grow because that's how we all learn and grow. And so if we want that same grace to be able to step out, to be able to try new things, to be able to learn, you know, sometimes they'll work, sometimes they won't. We've got to be able to give grace to the other people in our life as well. All right. And then the last thing that I would say as it relates to getting your spouse or partner or significant other on the same page is to realize that not everyone will understand and not every journey is you know it is a group journey right or a group effort there are some things in life that you do have to do on your own and i know that specifically like even with a lot of the moves that i was making when i first wanted to start investing in commercial real estate and you know doing that i i just remember really specifically how there were people that i was so close to that just were terrified and thought it was a bad idea and oh you have these real estate investment partners you're gonna get scammed and all this and and they were just negative and I just had to realize that 
there are some journeys that you have to take alone. There's some decisions you're going to have to make, some things you're going to have to do where it is just going to be, you know, you and God, right? Like you've got to bet on yourself sometimes and just know, don't feel bad about it. Just know that that's a part of being a grown up. That's a part of, you know, being able to make your own decisions and just to know that, hey, when it works out, everyone around you, they're all going to, to claim some of that success. I have an aunt to this day that every time she sees me, she tells all her friends, oh yeah, I told Audrey she should be a lawyer. I told her that's what she should do. She never told me that. Okay, let's, let's be real. She never said that at all. You know, she was telling me to do something entirely different, but when you become a success, everyone's going to want to claim that success as well. Okay, so hopefully those tips were helpful just to kind of understand how to navigate that when other people maybe aren't as excited or happy for you or don't seem to be on the same page page, but to know that you can so bet on yourself and give yourself a shot to achieve your dreams. I hope this was helpful.